Hey, what's up, guys? So I went to Lowe's and to Walmart and got a couple things to put together a quick, crazy water loop. This pump and reservoir, like I said, is leftover from uh, that awesome little Cooler Master 932 I got for a case of beer off Craigslist. That was awesome. Pump still works. It appears there's no leaks in the reservoir. I installed it on the water block. Installed it on my little radiator. I actually put that stock gel fan on the radiator because I'm, if I'm going to test the, um, the cooling capacity, I'd actually like to be able to use that fan so I don't have to relocate the fan. I might as well use the darn thing. So right now I'm just going to fill it up with some distilled water. I got this stuff right here. Everybody's saying to get um, water wetter, I think it's called. But this is, I think, the same kind of stuff. It relieves the surface tension of water so it can, you know, the water can actually contact the metal better. And this is the same kind of stuff. So you're supposed to put this in a car, but I'm just going to use a little bit later on when I actually put the loop together. But right now, I'm just going to fill it up with some distilled water and run the pump. Try to get all the, you know, air out and stuff and see if I have any leaks. So I filled up the reservoir. <coughs> Excuse me. And it quickly pushed water through the radiator, through the CPU block, and back to the reservoir, like, super fast. It's still pumping water. I know you guys can't really tell. No leaks. And the water block's actually nice and cold right there. That's funny. Dude, who knows? This might work. This is actually uh, my first water loop, you guys. Ever. Ever. Can't believe it. A little water loop sitting on my desk. Alright. I brought the whole thing into the kitchen because it's too hot out in the garage and I want to try to get decent temperatures. I gotta throw out a disclaimer right now. Oh my gosh. Two empty tubes of thermal paste. I got a little bit on there. I mean, in my opinion, not enough. So I wouldn't be trying to turn it on though if I didn't think it was enough to conduct heat. It's just not enough thermal paste, period. But I'm gonna turn it on anyways, because I'm curious. I want to see what happens with this pig. All right, this is kind of getting me excited. I got uh -huh. the loops all running right now, and I didn't know that I didn't have HW monitor on here, so I um, so I went ahead and downloaded it. And the whole time the computer was running, and there are the core temps right now. That's pretty much what a 9400. Is supposed to idle at. Well, that's with my cheapo little radiator. That means if I can cool this thing with that little cheapy radiator, that double 60 would look sick and it would do a really nice job. Oh, it looks like it's climbing a little bit. It's now at 53. And if I had some good thermal paste on there, we'd be probably golden. <sighs> All right, tomorrow I'll run to the radio shack and get some thermal paste. But as of right now, I'm super stoked because those are the temps with shitty thermal paste, like not enough at all. Mm -hmm. 